It is now a month since the explosive Easter missive by the Roman Catholic Archbishop of Kampala, His Grace Cyprian Chizitol Wanga, complaining about the government's espionage targeting the clergy. The Archbishop stunned the nation when he said their state spies planted with the purpose of framing him to be plotting the overthrow of the elected government of President Museveni. Archbishop Ranga went as far as disclosing that when one of his priests died recently, government security personnel went to him asking for access to the dead priest's room from which they recovered the government's firearms that the priest had been using. Prominent Catholics like Mukono Municipality MP Betty Namboze have been stopped from going for confession because they fear disclosing their sins to state operatives who may be priests. Now, New Vision TV examines how efficiently the media has followed up on the claims made by the top leader of the country's single largest religious denomination. The highest ranking Catholic clergy does not just talk things he's not sure of, and when Kampala Archbishop Cyprian Chizitolwanga complained that the state was arming his priests with ballistic weaponry and deploying them to conduct espionage against the church, the media duly reported his claims with concern. So what follow-up was done by the media to confirm or allay the fears of the public, which were triggered by the reporters? One of the simplest things the media could have done after the Archbishop had a cordial meeting with the President would be to ask the Church Communications Office if the matter of the spy priests had been sorted. The media should also have conducted its investigations to know how far the church had gone in identifying the armed priests and what action was being taken to neutralize the effect of the espionage activities. The media should also have established if a search for firearms had been conducted in all the priests' rooms in the different parishes and mission houses. There's no evidence that the media tried to establish the fate of the alleged spying and armed priests. Another basic thing the media would have done would be to ask leaders of the other religious organizations if they also had suspicions of state espionage among their clergy and if any such firearms had been conducted. But the simplest thing the media was expected to have done was to ask the readily available presidential press personnel the position of state house on armed priests serving in churches where they are armed by state house or security agencies. There's no evidence that the media sought the position of state house on armed priests. It is therefore clear that after spreading alarming reports of priests being armed and conducting espionage against the clergy, the media sat back and left the faithful to remain in a state of confusion. The media has done such an incomplete job that they score less than 3% on this story.